the lives of the Marcia Antonio family underwent an irreversible transformation when their infant daughter crossed paths with Pope Francis in Philadelphia, an encounter that unfurled a miraculous outcome beyond their wildest imaginings. Joey and Kristen Machi Antonio were raised in devout Catholic households, ingrained with the values of faith, love, and kindness through regular church attendance and familial teachings. Their shared devotion to God kindled their romance, and they vowed to nurture their future family within this rich tradition. When their beloved daughter was diagnosed with a rare blood disorder and tumor, their unwavering faith remained steadfast, anchoring them in hope that divine intervention would heal her. Donnie Asper, an FBI agent, crossed paths with Joey and Kristen in their local church, forging a bond through their shared faith and altruistic spirits. When Donnie was chosen for the security detail of the Pope's visit to Philadelphia, he resolved to orchestrate something extraordinary for his friends news of pope francis's imminent visit ignited fervor throughout the town particularly when he was scheduled to attend the world meeting of families a pivotal event uniting catholics worldwide to celebrate the sanctity of marriage and family life the pope's visit epitomized a rare opportunity to witness their spiritual leader firsthand infusing the community with a profound sense of anticipation and reverence for donnie this assignment was a chance to extend a lifeline to Joey and Kristen amidst their daughter Gianna's medical struggles, witnessing their ordeal firsthand, he understood the solace a blessing from the Pope could offer, thus, he resolved to maneuver every resource at his disposal to facilitate this pivotal encounter, recognizing that for devout Catholics like Joey and Kristen, meeting the Pope transcended mere happenstance. It was a manifestation of their unwavering faith, the Marcia Antonio family had always sought guidance and solace from their faith, particularly during their daughter Gianna's health struggles. When news spread of Pope Francis's upcoming visit to Philadelphia, a glimmer of hope ignited within them. They had heard countless tales of the Pope's healing abilities and believed that a meeting with him could potentially change Gianna's life. Their friend Donnie, selected for security detail, became their beacon of possibility. As the day of the Pope's tour approached, Danny, amidst the bustling crowd, Downtown, learned of the Pope's route past the James S. Byrne Courthouse on Market Street. Sensing the urgency of the moment, he called Joey and Kristen, urging them to seize this potential opportunity for Gianna. Filled with a mixture of excitement and apprehension, the family heeded Donnie's call and hurried to downtown Philadelphia. Danny's compassion and determination to go above and beyond for his friends left an indelible mark on their family. Amidst the sea of people, they knew their chances were slim, yet they pressed on. Despite initial hesitations about the crowded environment's impact on Gianna's fragile health, they found themselves in a designated spot, eagerly awaiting the Pope's arrival. When the Pope's motorcade appeared in the distance, the crowd erupted into cheers, and Donnie's heart raced. With bated breath, the family watched as the Pope emerged, making his way toward them. In that electrifying moment, amidst the bustling streets of Philadelphia, Joey lifted Gianna. Hi, his eyes shimmering with anticipation, hoping his daughter would catch a glimpse of the emissary of God, and then, as if time stood still, the Pope drew closer, the bustling cityscape faded into the background as the family held their breath, yearning for a fleeting encounter. When the Pope laid eyes on the little girl, everything shifted, Joey held Gianna aloft as the Pope approached the Marcia Antonio family, and a hush fell over the crowd as all eyes fixated on the child in her father's arms. Joey's heart swelled with hope and anticipation, yearning for a blessing from the Pope. Suddenly, a security guard appeared, swiftly taking Gianna from Joey's embrace. Without hesitation, the guard carried her to the Pope, who leaned in to place a tender kiss upon her forehead. It was a moment suffused with pure magic and profound power, bringing tears to the eyes of all who witnessed it, for Joey and Kristen. It was an unforgettable instant brimming with gratitude and joy, their daughter had received a divine blessing from the Pope, an encounter they knew would resonate with her for a lifetime. What they couldn't foresee was the miraculous change this simple kiss would usher into their lives. In the aftermath of the initial excitement, the family resumed their routine, accompanying Gianna to her doctor's appointments as usual. Amidst numerous tests to monitor her condition, they held their breaths, grappling with weeks of uncertainty and fear. However, when the long-awaited call from the doctor finally came, they steeled themselves for potentially grim news, however, his voice was calm and steady, delivering a message that seemed too extraordinary to comprehend. Six weeks after receiving the Pope's blessing, 
the parents were confronted with startling news. Gianna's tumor had significantly shrunk, leaving the medical professionals baffled by this inexplicable miracle. The family stood stunned and speechless, overwhelmed by a flood of emotions. In that moment, they were enveloped by a profound sense of awe and gratitude for the inexplicable intervention that had touched their lives. Joey and Kristen couldn't contain their tears as they embraced their precious baby girl, who had battled health issues since birth. They knew deep in their hearts that this was no mere coincidence. They believed the Pope's blessing had catalyzed a miracle. The memory of his gentle kiss on Gianna's head flooded their minds, reaffirming his presence with them in the ensuing months. Gianna defied all odds, continuing to progress and inspiring those around her. The family recognized that their encounter with the Pope had forever altered their lives. The story of Gianna's miraculous recovery spread far and wide, renewing belief in God and the possibility of miracles. Reflecting on that day, Joey and Kristen recalled a moment of unparalleled joy and relief, one that would remain etched in their hearts forever. They marveled at the power of fate and the grace of God, filled with gratitude and wonder as they witnessed their daughter's daily growth and strength. Though their journey was ongoing, they would never forget the day their prayers were answered, forever changed by the Pope's kindness. What an incredible miracle! When they concluded their reflection, they invited viewers to share their own experiences and beliefs, expressing gratitude for their support. That's all about the first story, and now let's watch another similar story. Upon his unexpected arrival at the wedding, all eyes turned in astonishment. However, when he seized the microphone, a hush fell over the crowd. This man was John A. Vagrant in his forties, his past shrouded in mystery, awakening in a hospital bed five years prior. He couldn't even recall his own name, John, became his moniker, bestowed upon him by the hospital staff who found him near death by the roadside. A victim of a car crash that claimed the lives of all but him, strangely, the identities of the other occupants remained. Elusive, their connection unexplained, suffering from amnesia, the doctors hoped his memory loss was temporary, but as time elapsed, his past remained a blank canvas, with no identification to trace his origins. Upon his discharge, he found himself adrift, devoid of a destination, lost in uncertainty. He idled away hours at a desolate bus station until happenstance led him to Ray, a compassionate soul who offered him shelter amongst the homeless community nearby. In this makeshift haven, John found solace amidst the camaraderie of his fellow destitute. Though unable to provide answers to their inquiries, their kindness prevailed, granting him a place to lay his head. Guided by Ray, he learned the art of survival on the streets, finding contentment in the simplicity of his existence. However, an insatiable curiosity gnawed at his consciousness a yearning to unearth the fragments of his former life, buried deep within the recesses of his forgotten memories. However, his memories remained elusive, yet amidst the haze, one thing lingered, a song. Its origins were a mystery to John, but its melody brought him solace. Night after night, he sang, his voice echoing through the homeless hub, earning him the nickname, John the Singer. However, as time passed, his repertoire wore thin, the novelty of his solitary tune waning among his companions. One day, while scavenging with Ray, they stumbled upon a gathering where music blared, entranced. John found himself singing along, the lyrics surfacing from the depths of his mind, excitement rippled through him when he reclaimed a fragment of his past. Each day thereafter, he returned to the music, gradually learning new songs. Soon, he became a source of entertainment at the shelter, his guitar strumming earning him a modest income. With a cardboard sign around his neck, John sat on sidewalks, inviting passers-by to request songs for a dollar. Yet, despite his newfound popularity, a lingering question gnawed at him the mystery of his past remained unsolved. Meanwhile, across the country, Ryan and May were preparing for their long-awaited wedding. Amidst the meticulous planning and anticipation, May couldn't shake a sense of melancholy. Her childhood dream of her father walking her down the aisle remained unfulfilled, his absence casting a shadow over her joy. Though her brother offered to step into the role, it couldn't fill the void left by their father's absence two days before the ceremony. When they arrived at the destination of their dreams, a message arrived the band they had booked was delayed, threatening to disrupt their carefully orchestrated plans. Their dream wedding threatened by the band's delayed arrival, May faced the prospect of her perfect day crumbling before her eyes. Suggestions flew, from hiring a DJ to improvising with a playlist on their phones. Despite her initial resistance, May reluctantly agreed, 
resigned to salvage what she could from the situation. The bachelor's eve was celebrated by the groom and his pals, who traveled into town for the occasion. In the course of their journey, they came upon a homeless man who captivated a tiny audience with his unique and melodic voice. In the process of addressing the man, the groom came up with an idea. He handed him one dollar and asked for a song to be played at the wedding. The groom, who was impressed by the man's talent, offered an invitation to the homeless man, John, to perform at their actual wedding the next day. John accepted the request. During the day of the wedding, John was retrieved from his normal location by the groomsmen, despite the fact that he made an effort to clean up. The fact that his clothing were worn and his appearance was disheveled continued to be a striking contrast to the grandeur of the event. They were unfazed and dressed him appropriately despite the fact that they were unable to totally cover his rough appearance using clothing as the time came for the first dance of the bride and groom, the guests were filled with a murmured expectation. When they witnessed the unexpected presence of the troubadour who was dressed in a shabby manner, in spite of this, all uncertainties vanished when John's hypnotic voice filled the air, leaving May in a state of amazement and Ryan beaming with pride. May tried to get her husband to answer her questions about the strange singer's background, but all he did was encourage her to take pleasure in the present time through his lyrical melodies. John's performance enchanted the audience with each song. He played, creating an environment that was hypnotic and captivating. In the midst of the festivities, the bride and groom found themselves swept away by the enchantment of the moment, their concerns being overshadowed by the happiness of starting their new life together. When John continued to sing, the reverberations of his song filled the air serving as a demonstration of the ability of music to break down barriers and bring people together at the moment that John took the microphone and started singing, the movements of the bride came to a sudden halt. She delivered a single word that echoed throughout the room by focusing her attention intensely on the homeless man and saying, Dad. As the bride's disclosure lingered in the air, the reverberation of amazement could be felt throughout the wedding hall, with tears flowing down her face. She raced forward, encircling John in a tight embrace, and a light of recognition appeared in her eyes as she moved closer to him. John's mind was flooded with memories as a result of their embrace, which corroborated the validity of her assertion. Her mother and brother were also present to validate the veracity of her statement. Surprisingly, faces from his past materialized in front of him, their features engraved in his memory, with the face of his wife standing out in particular. As the fragments of his shattered past gradually came together to form a coherent whole, John, or more accurately Jake, struggled to fathom the gravity of his rediscovered identity. As a former musician, his band had been on the verge of achieving fame prior to the occurrence of a tragic event, which caused him to fall into a deep hole of amnesia within the comforting embrace of his family. Jake started to retrieve the pieces of his previous existence, each memory being a priceless treasure that he unearthed from the depths of his awareness. In spite of this, he persevered in his gratitude toward the friends he had met during his time spent living on the streets, even as he rejoiced in the joy of being reunited with them. He made frequent trips to the shelter, which served as a demonstration of the enduring connection he shared with individuals who had been kind to him during his time of need. During the time that Jake was coming to terms with his newfound identity, he continued to share his talent for music with the world by singing at a variety of events and creating new memories with his daughter and his family, his path, which was characterized by resiliency and rediscovery provided as a powerful reminder of the enduring power of love and the capacity for redemption, above is today's story. If you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.